Afghans are sighthounds, which means they tend to chase what they can see rather than what they smell. Don't just judge this beauty by that faraway look in her eye. Contrary to popular belief, she's not a dumb blonde. Recently, there was a list ranking the intelligence of all dog breeds. Afghans ranked last on that list um, simply because they're not a real trainable dog. They don't really respond to humans, but their intelligence is an independent sort of intelligence, and the dogs that ranked low on that list were dogs like the sighthounds, like the terriers, dogs that function independent of man uh, rather than at their command. Let's just say Afghans definitely have minds of their own. In fact, the animal the Afghan is most commonly compared to is the cat. They're aloof and independent. They don't act like they really need to have human involvement, although they do understand that I know how to work the can opener, and, and uh, they're excited about that. But they do have that aloofness uh, that a cat would have. So we talk about them being very cat-like. Afghans are slow to mature. Edgar's one of Dave and Sandy's puppies. He's about five months old, but the dogs are considered puppies up until about 18 months, when they have a full adult coat. Cat-like, yes, but you won't find the Afghan sitting in a spot of sun giving itself a bath. So today, Sandy and her friend Kathy are going to have to do that task themselves. Average time of bathing, combing, and hair drying, over two hours. As you can see, Kathy's dog, Stedman, pretty much knows the routine. And on close inspection, you can see there's an actual hound dog under all that hair. They're a muscular animal. They were bred to hunt, and they must be an athlete. And um, they were supposed to go over varied terrain um, from deserts to mountains. This breed um, was at the peak of its popularity back in the 70s, back sort of during the hippie generation. That goatee is called a mandarin. They can be found on both males and females, but not every Afghan has one and they aren't important in the show ring. Although the Afghan's coat must be in excellent condition, the color's not a point of judging either. The Afghan hound, the king of dogs, the dog with all that hair that you see in the show ring, you'd think that he has sort of a regal bearing about him. What you don't see all the time is the great athletic ability of them chasing game through the field. You don't see them running around your house looking for trouble. You don't see them being a couch potato, but they are all of those things, and I think that's what appeals to us, and that's why we love the Afghan hound.